Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I have what I hope is another great gift idea for you for the holidays or for any time of year. This is a card folder. And what it is, is you open this up with the little closure. We've got a nice little flap. And then you're open, opening this up and there are pages. And then you take cards that you have made and then you're going to fill this folder with beautiful handmade cards. And then this will be a wonderful gift to give someone. Don't forget a little pocket here for some stamps. And this is wonderful for people who don't make handmade cards that admire your handmade cards. And now you can give them a supply of birthday cards, thank you cards, just thinking of you cards. And it's just so nice to be able to share your craft with other people. I've done this several times. Um, it particularly works great for elderly people who just can't run out and grab a card as easily. Now they have a little stash. And what's nice is, don't forget to give them extra envelopes. What's nice is, is that you can keep giving them cards throughout the year to refill this folder. I'm gonna show you how to put this all together. As I said, it's a really thoughtful gift to give people and I hope you'll stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna show you not only how to make it, we are going to select someone to win this folder. So you have to join us for next week's video a week from today and watch the video and then hidden inside the video we will have the winner so I really hope you do stick around and um, see if uh, you can like comment and subscribe so that you can be entered to win this little card making folder all right so let's get started to um, cover our folder base. We're going to be using window with a view 12 by 12 pattern cardstock from hot off the press and it is just gorgeous. It's got this barn wood and the scenes down below and the little windows. It's double sided of course. It's got the kitty peek peeking out there. Really beautiful paper and we're even going to use some of the blank tags here and then I've got some cardstock which I've already scored so this is tan craft cardstock and you're gonna, it's 12 by 12, we're gonna need three pieces, actually three and a half, okay? So we're gonna start off with this and what I've done is I have scored it and folded four inches up from the bottom. Then I've scored it here at six inches and we're just folding it in half. And that's the base for each of the folder pockets, okay? So we're gonna fold it here and after you've scored it, it's always nice, of course, to use your bone folder and then fold it again. Now, once we get it covered, like our pockets and things covered with paper, we're going to need to do some more scoring, but this just gets us started. And then there we go. All right. so. Once we get them covered with paper, then we're actually going to take each one and just stack them like this. This is just the easiest binding technique, you guys. We're gonna stack them like this and we're going to be gluing the folders together, all right? So there's surfaces where we're going to need to cover with paper and then the two facing ones like this between the two folders, we don't need to put anything on those. They're just going to be glued. And then we're going to do a nice little um, binding cover right here to give it a nice edge. So let's start with cutting some paper. All right, so we're gonna do all the inside pieces first um, by covering the inside pages. And then when I'm all done, I'm gonna cover the front and the back with paper. And that's so I don't get confused and accidentally cover pages that I don't need to cover with paper. That sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this one. now. I've taken the paper here and I've cut it because I want it to go over that pocket. So I cut away the bottom part of the paper and I've cut it a little smaller because I want it to fit inside that four inch pocket, all right? So this is three and three quarters and then I've cut it down to 11 and three quarters, all right? And then gotta do a little inking because you guys know if you've watched my videos, 
I love to have a little bit of an ink edge. I just think it makes it look so nice and finished. But we don't have to do the whole thing. You can just kind of, you know, along the edge. All right, so, so now it's nice if we can go ahead and I'm not gonna score this one just because it's such a small piece. Fold that in half, use those fingernails to score that. And then we've already got our little crease there and then we can just glue that down. And I'm going to be using liquid glue for this, but you know, you could use whatever your favorite adhesive is. I like to use liquid glue on this project because it's really, it's just not going to come apart, especially when you're gluing the folders down or together rather. That would be so disappointing if, you know, in a year's time, especially since this is a gift, if your friend's folder just comes apart. We're gonna get some right on that fold. And then we're gonna put that right there. And the reason I like to sort of pre-fold things um, it may seem like an unnecessary step. I just feel like it makes things come together easily at the end. All right, so that's gonna have that nice little fold right there. One of the reasons I love to use liquid glue <laughs> is if you mess it up, it works out great. All right, so now this one I have cut it down just a little bit so it's also 11 and 3 quarters across so that it'll have that nice edge right there all right and then this one we want it to fit inside our page but it's a little long all right so we do need to trim off just a little bit right here we don't need the whole piece okay it just could be extra bulk so you could actually trim it just below this four inch line. So this could be 11 and three quarters by like five inches. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of my papers and when we come back, we'll finish gluing. Okay, we're back. So I have cut this down to 11 and three quarters of an inch across and then just five inches wide. And this piece is gonna slip back in here. So here's a couple tips. When you're working with your 12 by 12 paper, cut, 11 and, cut it down to 11 and three quarters of an inch. And that way you only need to cut this one down to five inches and this one down to um, 11 and three quarters this way. So it's gonna save you some time if you just cut that one off. So also you do not need to ink the bottom edge of this one because it's going to be hidden. So let's go ahead and we've already scored this. We're gonna put this piece in. My glue has a little clog in there. It's not being as generous as I want it to be. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna put this one right here. So it has that nice little border around it. Okay. And then while that's drying, okay, we're gonna let that dry for a minute and then we're gonna go ahead and fold this and get that all um, scored up and use our bone folder. And then once we do that, we're going to glue the ends of the pockets. But in the meantime, while that's drying just for a moment, I'm gonna show you the other two that I've done. So this is this one, and the edges are glued right here. And then this one with the cute little kitty, he's peeking over the edge, so sweet. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this. <clears throat> I'm gonna take our bone folder, and we're just gonna get that really nicely creased again. And then we're gonna take our glue. We're just gonna put that right along this edge. Yep, I have a proper clog. I'm gonna take my very professional paper clip and unclog that. There we go. Yeah. 
glue all over my hands now. Okay, so now we're getting ready to put these in order. So if you have a favorite one, which I think I like the one with the little kitty peeking out, that would be a cute one to put in the front. And we have everything all put together like this. All right, so before we glue these together, and before we put our covers on our paper, we're gonna talk about the closure. So for the closure, I initially thought of doing this just out of the card stock, the solid card stock, and I cut a six inch square, and then just cut some corners off, folded a half inch, and then I was gonna kind of glue it to the back and do this. So I still like that idea, but I instead want to do this out of the patterned cardstock. So here we go. Um, I do, do need to cut this down a little bit. Okay, so this is six inch wide, so it's the same as the width of the final folder. All I'm gonna do with this is, first of all, just sort of fold it like that. I don't wanna crease this, but I wanna fold it like that. This is going to be the bottom part of my flap, and when I'm holding those together, I'm just gonna clip off the corners like that, and that way I have two perfect sides, all right? And then I'm gonna score this over one half of an inch. So this part is going to get glued to the back, this flap, and then that's the flap. So when they open it, the flap, you see that cute little window, all right? So this is going to get glued before we cover this with paper. This is the back. We're gonna glue that right there for the back page. I've got some wires that are misbehaving. All right. All right, now the reason we're doing this first is because now we're gonna to prepare to glue paper over the back of that and it'll make it look nice and it'll also reinforce this right here. So covering it and reinforcing that as well. So we're just gonna leave that kind of like this. And now I'm gonna show you the two papers that I've set aside for covering. Here we go. My desk is such a mess, you guys. These are going to be our cover papers. So they're from the same paper collection. And I just love, it's got all the flowers, just a little hint of pink, and I think it's gonna look really pretty. So we're gonna cut these down as well. And yeah, I've got too much going on on my desk. So this is going to be the front cover with a little kitty. And I wanna make sure I have one of these flowers sort of showing at the corner, but I like, ooh, I like this little cluster of flowers right here. And I want that to have a nice little border. So let's go ahead, you guys know I hate measuring, but for you guys, I'm gonna measure. Usually what I would do is just go ahead and line it where I want it and then just take a little pencil and I would mark it here and here and that's where I would go ahead and make my cuts, but I wanna make that, let's see, it's six inches wide, so yeah, five and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And we can go ahead and do the same for the back. I'm just gonna like hold these two papers together, do it at once. So we've got five and three quarters, by 
by seven and three quarters. All right, so let's get these back in order again. So I sort of haphazardly toss things. So this one is the one I'm going to put on the front. And I really like that. But first, let's talk about the type of closure we're going to put on here. So remember, this is going to come down like that. And I want to have a little bit of a closure right here. Something here and something here. And I'm not sure what kind. I think we're going to do a ribbon closure, okay? Because I had changed my mind instead of having this be cardstock, and then I could have covered the inside of the outside flap, and I could have used a brad or something there. I don't want to cover up my window, so I think we'll do a ribbon closure. All right, we're going to do a little inking on these pieces, and then when we come right back, these will be glued in place. All right, so we've got the front cover covered and the back cover as well. So now it's time to glue these folders in order. And we don't need a ton of glue to do this, but we really wanna make sure that we get glue along those outside edges because that's really what's getting handled the most. And I'm going to go to this one right on top, of this one. Just gonna make sure that's squared up. And now this is the front one. I have to squeeze with both hands. I think I'm getting down to the end of my bottle here. Note self, change bottle of glue. It's it really warm under my lights and I think it's just telling me it needs a good unclogging. All right, so squaring that up. I want that to all look nice. And then at this point, if we weren't filming this, I would go ahead and just set a book on top of this for just like 10 minutes, just to make sure that that bond is really nice around the edges. But we're gonna move ahead and let's talk about the binding part. So this part right here, we're gonna go ahead and take a scrap that I have here and this is seven and three quarters inch long because that's how long the book base is here. Well, actually it's eight, but we wanna make sure and just have a little bit of room for this to close. And then it's two and a half inches wide and I've scored it the one and a quarter. And I'm gonna try to get my glue going here. Maybe I'll just use a tape runner for this part. And I'm just gonna cover whole thing from top to bottom. And then right on that scored part, okay, we're going to wrap that around. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just gonna keep everything nice and cleaned up. And then we have some ribbon we're gonna put in that in just a moment. But in the meantime, we have that sheet of cutouts and I've cut out a couple of pieces here. Oops. This one would be nice to put right here so you could have a nice little sentiment. You could write a little note in there to your friend. Like that. And then I thought too, it would be nice to put this in and I wrote stamps on it and I'm gonna make a little pocket out of it. I will need some glue for this one. And I'm gonna enclose a book of stamps, which is, stamps are expensive. This That's what makes this such a nice gift, you guys. Not only are they gonna have an assortment of cards that you've made, they're also gonna have stamps at the ready, which just is such a thoughtful gesture. Especially for an elderly person who, you know, it's just not as easy to run out and grab things. Okay, so that's left open and we're gonna stick some stamps in there soon. All right. And then we have an assortment of cards that we can put in here. Everybody needs some birthday cards. So we're gonna put some like that in there, like that. We have some thinking of you. And just sort of trying to think of cards that people send often. I think people send birthday cards, they send anniversary cards, they send thank you cards. So now they're thinking or miss you, missing you. And what's great about this whole concept is that you can then continuing, you can continue to bring them or send them cards to fill their little book throughout the year. And then envelopes, I like to include a few extra envelopes because haven't we all at one time or another messed up an envelope? And then you're like, ah, oh. okay. So that's all loaded up. Where did my ribbon go? Fully dropped to the ground. Okay, we're gonna wrap that around here. See, that's all nice and full. And then, and this is three quarter inch pink grosgrain ribbon. I cut some of this down because I just have too much. All right, and then one, a nice thing to do with this so that everybody has their closure with them is I like, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I like to tie things like this often upside down. It just is a weird thing that the bow often turns out better when you're, for me, when I'm tying it upside down. I don't know why, I don't know why. So this is a good time while I'm tying this bow to remind you guys to, um, if you've liked any part of this video, I would really appreciate a like, a thumbs up. It really helps, helps people find my channel. I know that oftentimes when we're involved in a video that um, we forget to like it and I do, I do that often, but it really helps the creators know if you liked it, if you wanna see more of it and helps people find our channel. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm. And um, also leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And of course, subscribe because I do, uh, right now, I'm doing two videos a week through the holiday season. I have lots of gift ideas for you that I would love to share. Cutting that little notch in there, which I think is a nice touch. And if you do those three things, you like, comment, and subscribe, then I am going to select, well, actually not me, my wonderful sister-in-law is going to select someone that will win and we will send you this folder. Unfortunately, I will not send you all of the cards and stamps. I need those to send to people, but you will get this folder that you can then fill with wonderful cards to give as a gift 
for the holidays or for any time of year. And if you guys are interested in more gift ideas, please let me know in the comments. I really enjoy reading your comments and it's very encouraging for me. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you in the next one.